In this video, we will be discussing the drone laws in the United States of America. Drones have become increasingly popular in recent years, and it's important to understand the regulations and guidelines surrounding their use. So, let's dive right in. The agencies responsible for regulating drones in the USA primarily fall under the jurisdiction of the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. The FAA has provided comprehensive information on their website about flying drones in the USA. You can find more details on the FAA's website, link in the description below. Now, let's take a look at the general rules for flying drones in the USA. Drones are allowed for both recreational and commercial use, subject to FAA and local regulations. It's crucial to familiarize yourself with these rules to ensure safe and legal drone operations. Drone registration is mandatory for all drones weighing more than 0.55 pounds. One important aspect to consider is the existence of no-fly zones or no-drone zones in the USA. These are areas where drone operations are restricted or prohibited for safety and security reasons. It's essential to understand the limitations, obtain authorizations if required, and know how to navigate these zones. To help drone operators, the FAA has partnered with Aloft to develop the B4U Fly mobile app. This app provides situational awareness by indicating airspace restrictions and no-fly zones. While it doesn't provide authorization for controlled airspace, it's a valuable tool for recreational flyers and drone users. You can download the app for free from the App Store or Google Play Store. Link for the download in the description below. If you need authorization to fly in controlled airspace, the FAA's Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability, or LONC, is the way to go. LONC allows pilots to obtain near real-time authorizations for operations under 400 feet. It's available to both Part 107 pilots and recreational flyers operating within certain limits. Now, let's shift our focus to recreational drone pilots flying for fun in the USA. If you have a small drone weighing less than 55 pounds, you can fly recreationally by following the rules defined in 49 U.S.C. 44,809. These rules ensure safety and keep the airspace available to everyone. One of the requirements for recreational flyers is to pass the Recreational UAS Safety Test, or TRUST. This test covers essential safety and regulatory information. Passing the test and carrying proof of passage is mandatory for recreational drone pilots. Now, let's break down the general recreational flight rules for drone pilots in the USA. Fly only for recreational purposes, personal enjoyment. Follow the safety guidelines of an FAA-recognized community-based organization CBO. Keep your drone within visual line of sight or use a visual observer who is physically next to you and in direct communication. Give way to and do not interfere with manned aircrafts. Fly at or below 400 AGL above ground level feet in Class G uncontrolled airspace. Take the recreational UAS safety test trust and carry proof of test passage when flying. Fly at or below for authorized altitudes in controlled airspace class B, C, D, and surface class E designated for an airport only with prior FAA authorization using long or drone zone. Have a current FAA registration, mark your drones on the outside with the registration number, and carry proof of registration when flying. Do not operate your drone in a manner that endangers the safety of the national airspace system. Understand that violating safety requirements or operating your drone carelessly or recklessly may result in criminal and or civil penalties. Moving on to commercial drone services in the USA. If you want to fly your drone for work or business purposes, you need to follow the guidelines outlined in Part 107 of the FAA regulations. These regulations cover various aspects of commercial drone operations and ensure safety and compliance. To operate commercially, you must first learn the rules and understand the requirements specified in Part 107. The next step is to become an FAA certified drone pilot by passing the knowledge test. This test assesses your understanding of aeronautical knowledge and safety. You must be at least 16 years old, proficient in English, and in a physical and mental condition to fly a drone safely. Once you pass your exam, you need to register your drone with the FAA. This can be done through the FAA Drone's own website, and it costs $5 for a three-year registration. Make sure to mark your drone with the registration number and always carry proof of registration when flying. 
It's important to note that the FAA has specific sections on their website dedicated to public safety, law enforcement, and government drone use. If you fall into any of these categories, make sure to visit the FAA's website for more information and resources. Here are the 10 most important rules for commercial drone pilots in the USA. 1. Obtain a Remote Pilot Certificate RPC or Drone License by passing the FAA's Knowledge Test for Commercial Drone Operations under Part 107. 2. Fly your drone for work or business purposes only, not for recreational use. 3. Follow the regulations outlined in 14 CFR Part 107, which cover various aspects of commercial drone operations. 4. Ensure that your drone weighs less than 55 pounds, as this is the weight limit for drones operated under Part 107. 5. Fly your drone during daylight hours or civil twilight 30 minutes before official sunrise to 30 minutes after official sunset with appropriate anti-collision lighting. 6. Keep your drone within visual line of sight at all times, or use a visual observer to maintain direct communication and maintain visual contact with the aircraft. 7. Do not fly over people who are not directly participating in the drone operation unless they are under a covered structure or inside a stationary vehicle. 8. Obtain airspace authorizations if you intend to fly in controlled airspace class B, C, D, or E airspace or near airports, either through long or the manual coordination process. 9. Respect the privacy of individuals and avoid invading their personal space or property while operating your drone. 10. Conduct regular maintenance checks on your drone to ensure it is in good working condition, and adhere to manufacturer guidelines for safe and proper drone operation. Following these rules is crucial for commercial drone pilots to ensure safe and legal operations and to maintain compliance with FAA regulations. Before we conclude, a common question is whether you can fly a drone over private property. While it is generally allowed, there may be local jurisdiction laws and privacy regulations to consider. It's important to respect privacy, avoid property damage, and ensure safety when flying over private property. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that drone laws can differ by state. While all states have some level of regulation, certain states have additional restrictions or specific laws regarding drone use. Always check the specific state drone laws for the state you're operating in. That wraps up our video on Rome laws in the USA. We hope you found this information useful and informative. Remember to always fly your drone safely, respect regulations, and stay up to date with any changes in the laws. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Until next time, happy flying!